familiarizing yourself with information about the format of the GRE will help you with your plan of attack moving forward. In this lesson, we'll go over how the test is structured and scored. Let's start by looking at how much time you will actually have for this life-changing test. Expect to be at the testing center for about four hours, during which you'll work through seven testing sections. You get a one-minute break after each section, except for the third section, where you get a scheduled break of 10 minutes. This adds up to a total of three hours and 45 minutes to answer the test questions. Remember that your allotted break times are the only ones that do not take away from your testing time, so make sure to use them well. If you need to use the restroom during the test, you may raise your hand and ask to do so, but keep in mind that this will eat into your testing time. Now let's look at the different sections that make up the GRE. There are seven parts in total. Every GRE begins with an analytical writing section. It consists of a 30-minute period for the Analyze an Issue essay and a 30-minute period for the Analyze an Argument essay. The rest of the exam is divided into five short answer parts. There are two quantitative reasoning, or math, parts. There are also two verbal reasoning parts and an experimental part, which could be either quantitative reasoning or verbal reasoning. Depending on which one you get, the experimental part will last for either 30 or 35 minutes. It doesn't count towards your score and is only used by the test creators to test out questions for future GREs. At the end of the exam, you won't know which of the five was the experimental part, so make sure to pay equal attention to each section. Let's look at each of the sections in more detail. The quantitative reasoning section is broken up into two parts with 35 minutes for each part. It has a mix of multiple choice and short answer questions for a total of 40 questions. This section tests your knowledge of number properties, arithmetic, basic algebra, and geometry. Verbal reasoning is two parts that each last 30 minutes. The 20 multiple choice questions will test you on several passages to test reading comprehension, text completion, and sentence equivalence. I know this is a lot of information to take in, but we'll go over each of these sections in upcoming lessons to strategize and practice. This will get you in your best fighting shape for the GRE. Now you know how the test is organized, but do you answer questions using a Scantron? Not exactly. The GRE is computer-based. For the writing section, you're provided a writing box with a simple word processor. Once you type in the correct response, click Next. For the quantitative section, you're provided a simple on-screen calculator. The verbal reasoning section has a mix of multiple choice and text selection questions where you choose the right option by clicking on it. Because you take the actual GRE on a computer, I recommend taking the practice exams on a computer as well. This will help you prepare using the same tools you'll use on test day. Now on to the main reason you're taking the GRE, that grand score. One question everyone has is, how is the GRE scored? Let's take a look. For the writing section, two readers evaluate the issue essay and two others grade the argument essay. They're scored according to criteria set by the Educational Testing Service, the company that develops the GRE. Readers assign a score between 6 and 0 in single increments to your issue essay. 6 is highest and 0 is lowest. What you finally get is an average of these two scores, which is done by ETS. Here's how. Suppose one reader gives your essay a 5 and the other a 4. Your final score is 4.5. The same goes for the argument essay. Suppose one reader gives your essay a 4 and the second a 3. Your final score is 3.5. The two scores are average, so for a little bit of math practice, that's 4.5 plus 3.5 divided by 2. We get 8 over 2, or a final score of 4.0. The final score is the only score sent to schools. Also remember that since real live graders score the analytical writing section, you won't get the results for a few weeks. You'll get the results of the other sections right after you complete the test. To understand scoring for the quantitative and verbal sections, you should know about what GRE developers call multi-stage testing. Multi-stage testing means how well you do on the first section determines the level of difficulty for the subsequent parts. Think of it this way. How well you do on the first part of the quantitative and verbal test categories determines whether you get to take the regular section in the next part or the advanced section. You're more likely to score well on the overall exam if you take the two more difficult second sections. So practice, 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 and let us help you get to the advanced sections of the test. GRE scores are scaled. 
Your correct answers or raw scores are converted into a scaled score between 130 and 170 for the quantitative and verbal parts. If you take the more difficult second sections, they're factored into your score too and can affect your percentile score. The percentile is important and you get separate percentile scores for the writing, quantitative, and verbal sections. Let's take a look at what it means. Here's a rough example of converting the verbal converted score to its percentile score. The converted scores are on the left and the percentile scores are on the right. Don't worry, we have this conversion chart in our lecture notes for this section. The percentile score is what graduate programs are interested in. It tells them what percentage of students scored higher than you did and what percentage scored lower. Scoring a 164 on the verbal section means 93% of the people taking that section scored lower than you, while 7% scored higher. That brings us to the end of this lesson about the structure and scoring of the GRE. Don't spend time trying to figure out what score you'll receive before the test or how you got the score you received after the test is over. Instead, prepare for the test and keep preparing until you feel confident that you'll do your best on all three sections. Music